This here we're going to demonstrate the uh, an engine failure and a, uh, a steep spiral down. There's a, uh, looks like there's some, some construction. There's a big sand lot down there and uh, I think I'm, I'm high enough here. And I'm going to touch down on a road with an intersection. Right there is like a intersection of uh, two, two roads. And we'll go, it has a little bit bent here, but we'll use that spot for the demonstration. Greg, if you'd be kind enough to fill my engine, sir. All right, so there we go. Now, gonna hit my best glide. The way I do that is stop in that altimeter. Just stop it, man, until you hit your best glide. Then go down at it, then trim for it. Now, out my left window on my side, there's the spot. I'm gonna use this to, where this round road is. It's like 180 degree and a, and a perpendicular and a road that comes through it. And I'm gonna just keep that in there. I'm not gonna use rudder, and I'm just gonna spiral down around it. I'm picking a road for the location because it's very it's a very good visual. But I'm gonna, I want to get back to the point where if you had a, a a long road, pick a point where the wheels are gonna hit. And this would be helpful, like say you're out in the wilderness, rough terrain, there was only one little spot where you can touch down. Or in the woods and there's only one little clearing. Get to that clearing, get to where the wheels are gonna hit in the clearing, keep that spot where the wheels are gonna hit in the clearing, in your window, whoever's flying, and you just spiral down around it. You'll see as we get lower and lower, and I'm gonna clear my engine here. As we get lower and lower, there's gonna be come a point, a time where uh, uh, you're gonna have to make the decision. Do I have time for one more turn? If so, do it. If I don't have time for one more turn, do I have enough time for a, uh, a downwind, a base, and a final? Or do I have to button hook it in? Now I think on this one here, this is, uh, as I'm getting lower here, it's probably gonna be a button hook. But you can't, you can't tell till you really are being the point. So it's right there in the spot that I'm uh, looking at. You can see in the camera how it uh, how it hasn't changed at all. It's the apex of that 180 degree turn in the road there. Now I'm coming up uh, a beam as my theoretical touchdown point. Do I have time for one more turn? No way. So I would opt now to do my downwind. Now a very important thing here is Remember this heading, this is zero to zero. When I put the wing down on the high wing, I can't see that point. If I lift that wing up halfway during that turn, it may cause an overshoot. That's about it there. I'm gonna go down, go best glide. Now I was uh, zero to zero, so it's gonna be about two zero zero. See, as you can see right now, I can't see my point. So I'm gonna start my turn, holding my best glide. Not gonna commit the flap yet. And there it is, you can see it's coming around. And there's my point. Would I hit it? Pretty sure I'm gonna hit that point. I'm gonna clear the engine just in case. And there we go. Go flaps, I'm just gonna glide it in. You know, you can see there's no distance to land. It was a demonstration of the spiral down around the point. What do you think, Greg? Walk away if it was a long enough road? I think we lived. Yeah. Yeah.